Now, the next topic to be covered is deleting rows of a data set and copying the resultant data set to a new data set, data, right? So if you want to uh, drop the first and third row of this data set, then how do we achieve that? We'll achieve like this, suppose DF3, we are creating a new data set at a data frame based on the existing one. DF3 is equal to DF2 dot drop. Now we'll give df2 dot index one comma three. So if we print df dot head now, df3 dot head. So you can see we have we tried to. Uh, delete the value 1 and 3. So now when we print the df3, the first index and the third index, uh, the row, the row index that is gone, that is being dropped. So this is how we can uh, like drop the rows of a data set and copy and we have already copied uh, it into a resultant which is a df3. Now our next So five and six is almost the same. So I will just remove this because we have already covered five and six. So dropping the duplicate values. Okay. Now in this uh, df3, we have the uh, embark, one of the column as embark. So like if what df3 is equals to, based on the conditions, okay, drop the duplicate values based on some conditions. So df3, and uh, embark the value of embark if you see df3 dot so we have the unique value as s q and c and here we can see it's s q or c right so what we do if this embark value is not equals to if it is not equals to s then what happens okay and you give it head 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 be store okay so if we print you can see right All the values you can see now is here where you don't have any like uh, embark value s now even now you can do df3 dot df3 embark dot so that s value the, is dropped now the value which is present for the embark column in this data set is only q and c now let's try some other things also. Now let's try to uh, remove some duplicates. Now we have the uh, okay. We have the embark column, right? Now so what we'll do now we'll check df3 dot info how many rows are there in this? Okay. 22, 21, 22 entries are there. Okay. So what we'll, we will do, we will only get the unique values. We'll, uh, we will remove all the deletes for this uh, embark column. Like there will be, uh, it will be only left with one Q and one C. That is how. Okay. So df3 dot drop duplicates dot head. So 
so if we print here print dup so we are left with only q and c now the important thing to note is if you want to uh, like uh, remove that duplicate then the entire row should be unique each and every value of each and every column should be unique then only it will be deleted but here it is not the case in that case we have to give the embark column as a subset in order to achieve this so what we'll do we'll again give dup is equals to is equals to dup dot drop Drop, 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 uh, drop duplicates based on the subset, which is equals to embarked Okay, this got, uh, this was missing. This put was missing. Now, if we print you, what will happen? So you see now we are left with only two rows and for which the column of embark one is Q and one is C. Please note by default, it will take the first existing row for each Q and each C. Now if we give, in order to give the, uh, view the last existing value for Q embarked, which is Q and C, we can give here, keep is equals to last. Now, if we do this, if we execute, so okay, because dupe is left with only two columns, so what we can do, we can uh, keep uh, dupe one. Is it because here uh, dupe is not working because there are only two rows? Okay, what we'll do, dupe df df three. Okay. Okay, now if we give view one, see now the this index value changes. Okay, so you can see uh, when we have given uh, like uh, by default it will take the keep as first. It will uh, the rows value of is the index value for embark queue is five and the index value embark c is nine. But when when we have given the uh, keep parameter is equal to last, then the last occurring uh, of you can see here df three. Okay, so in this case, you can see Q. The first occurrence of Q is five, and the last occurrence of Q is nine. And again, the last occurrence of Q is twenty-two, which is correct here. And the last occurrence of C is ninety nineteen. This one and this one. Okay, so I hope you understand this. Uh, the logic of uh, drop, dropping, and deleting the columns and the rows uh, based on the index, based on the name, and also dropping the duplicates. So thank you for viewing the, uh, this video and if you find this video helpful, please press the like button and subscribe to this channel. And thanks a lot. I'll, come, I'll be coming up with some more videos.